We want to look at applying some sort of linear or line graphics to our model. If you've got Renderworks and you've used a texture with a surface hatch, you won't have to go through this step. So first of all, let's render our view and see if we can see our surface hatching. So view, rendering, and OpenGL. And now I'm going to go back to view, rendering, OpenGL options, and make sure I've turned up the quality. So draw my edges very high. Let's put some shadows on as well. And OK. If I select my roof, go to rendering, and I choose a texture for my roof. Now there are some textures here in my libraries that automatically have the surface hatch on them. This one here, the metal corrugated roof, you see the word surface hatch, so that has a surface hatch on it. So click on that, and now I'm just going to make sure that the top is not a class texture, but is using the texture that I have selected. And now you can see the metal roof. If I change now to a rendering style, which is a line type rendering, so view, rendering, hidden line rendering, we should see the line work on the roof. Now we can do the same thing with walls if we've got the walls selected and the walls have the correct surface hatch. So I'm just going to take away that texture. I want to have none. Let's render that again and let's take away the gable walls class texture, the overall, let's take that away and we'll give that none as well. So we've gotten rid of the, the texture. So if we don't want to be involved in the textures on our objects, then we're going to use this technique that I'm going to show you now. Right click, layer options, active only. We only want to see one part of our building and we want to see the walls to start with. So there are my walls. We're going to use a tool called Extract Surface. It's in the 3D Modeling tool set. Extract Surface. We're going to extract a face and click on your preferences because we want to create planar objects. You notice it turns red. Click. This side here will turn red. Click again. The back face, this is the actually showing the inside of the building, if you hold down the option of the Alt key, it'll highlight the other face. Don't forget the Shift key as well. Click. Same thing here. Alt key first, Shift key, click. So that selected all four faces of my building. Click on the green tick. And it's created a group of objects. Modify. Edit group. So now I can see my group. I can, I'm inside it. There's a quick preference here, which is show other objects while in edit modes. If I turn that off, I completely hide everything outside my group. If I turn it back on, I can see everything in gray. Right click, select all. What we want to do is to apply a hatch to these. Let's put on a hatch. What kind of hatches do we have access to? And we've got one here called weatherboard. So let's choose that one. And when we get closer, you'll see there are my horizontal lines for siding. Let's go to our roof and we'll do the same thing to the roof. I'm just going to fly over a little bit so I can see both faces. So back to my extract tool, that face, shift key, that face. Click on the green tick and then we're going to assign a hatch to that. So first of all, we'll choose hatch. What kind of hatch do we want? How about a corrugated roof? and then select. So that's my corrugated roof. Let's go back to our save view. And now you can see all my hatching on there. I'm just going to change my rendering. So view, rendering, and hidden line rendering. So now you can see my surface hatches on my building. If I had a texture, I wouldn't have to do the extract surface and it would just show those lines automatically.